another respiratory disease to understand is pulmonary fibrosis. Now, rather than a chronic inflammation like COPD, this is a restrictive disease where permanent scars are formed in the lung tissues, causing perpetual shortness of breath. Now, this scar formation leads to thickening of the alveolar walls, which decreases oxygen diffusion capacity and causes irreversible impairment in oxygenation. Now, the cause is mostly idiopathic, but it's thought to be related to environmental factors like cigarette smoking or long-term exposure to other toxic chemicals. Now, one of the toxic exposures you need to be aware of for the exam is from the long-term use of amiodarone, known as amiodarone pulmonary toxicity. Now, this is a type of fibrosis that can occur at any time after treatment with amiodarone is started but generally it's been found in those taking amiodarone daily for months or even several years with a reported incidence of about 5 to 15 percent. Now, patients are going to present with shortness of breath and a dry cough that gets worse over time. They normally complain of a pleuritic chest pain as well as fatigue and a gradual unintended weight loss. Now, the hallmark sign of pulmonary fibrosis is clubbing of the fingers, which occurs as a result of chronic hypoxemia. In addition to the chest x-ray, which shows diffuse scarring, a CT scan is going to show a honeycomb pattern with extensive fibrosis, and diagnosis can be confirmed with a lung biopsy. Now, the treatment options for pulmonary fibrosis are going to be focused around slowing the progression of the disease, as there's currently no cure. Now, the average life expectancy is going to be around three to five years. And if the patient is taking amiodarone, then obviously discontinuation of the drug could help slow and even reverse the disease if caught early enough. Now, on other types of fibrosis, corticosteroids like prednisone or immunosuppressants as well as pulmonary rehab can slow the progression. And then in addition to supplemental oxygen therapy, mechanical ventilation may be necessary for advanced cases, especially if a lung transplant is a viable option.